So it looks like you're interested in playing a multiplayer game of Star Trek New Horizons, but you don't know how to create or join a multiplayer game. Fortunately, we've got you covered. In this tutorial, we're going to look at both hosting and creating a game, and joining a game that has been set up by someone else. Before we jump in, I just want to let you know that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials that have been brought to you by myself and Cornish Ratbeard. The playlist for those tutorials are both at the end of the video and in the description below. For both hosting and for joining a multiplayer game, we first need to go into the multiplayer mode. You can do this by pressing on the multiplayer button on the main menu. Once you've clicked this, you will see this screen here. We will start with the easier of the two, which is joining a game. This shows you any multiplayer games that are currently being played in Star Trek New Horizons. Usually there are a couple that are going on simultaneously. If you can't see any, this might be due to some filters. At the top of this window we have four filters. No passwords, not full, same mod, and same version. The first filter means that you do not need a password to join one of these games. This is activated when the tick box or checkbox is selected. The next one is not full. This option will not show any games that are already at the maximum number of players. You can see the maximum number of players under the slot section in the main window. And the last is the same version filter. This shows you only multiplayer games that are running exactly the same version as you. This is based not only on the version of both Stellaris and Star Trek New Horizons that you have downloaded, but also on many any mods that you have active. If you look at the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll see that both the versions um, and any mods that you currently have active are included in the checksum. If you press same version, only those multiplayer games with the exact same checksum will be shown. To join a game, simply double click on the game. If a password is required, you will enter it here. After going through a loading screen, you will get to the Empire Selection screen. This is where you can choose one of any available empires, meaning those that have not been taken by another human player. Simply select the empire you would like to play as, and press play. You can also simply observe this multiplayer game by choosing the observer role. Now let's go to hosting a multiplayer game. From the main menu, press the multiplayer function to get back to the server lists. Here, rather than double clicking on a game and joining one, we are going to host a game. There are two ways you can host a game depending on whether you want to start a new game or to start a multiplayer game from a previous save point. If you would like to host a new game, simply press host new game. For hosting the save game, you will then be asked to load a file. If you choose this option, you do not need to set any of the options as those have been set previously. For now, we're going to host a new game. When you press on the host new game button, the host server information will pop up. This is where you can describe the multiplayer game you're going to be playing, add any tags that you would like, and set a password. All of these options are optional, and do not need to be completed before pressing the host button. Once you have done that, you will be brought to the game lobby. As the host, you can allow or disallow players to enter the game. You can also remove them if you change your mind after adding them. On the left hand side, we see a player list. In the middle, we see information about the multiplayer chat, and on the right side we see information about the galaxy. The information about the galaxy is exactly the same as creating a new single player game. Should you have any questions there, please see my tutorial video on the recommended settings for Star Trek New Horizons. Finally, once everyone has chosen or changed their empire, it's time to start. As the host, in the bottom right hand corner of the screen you will see the start button. All other players will see a button that says the word ready. This indicates to the host that those specific players that have pressed the ready button are ready to begin. You can also see above the player list how many players out of the total number of players are ready. Once you and all of the players in the game lobby are ready, press the start button. This will begin loading your game. If not everyone loads at the same speed, you may see a waiting window while everyone continues to load. This is usual, it's normal, and you should not be alarmed. This window will allow you to use the multiplayer chat function while you wait for everyone else to load. Other players also need to synchronize with the host. If a player ever falls out of sync, you will see the same waiting screen again while their computer attempts to resync with the host machine. This will automatically happen after one player goes approximately two to three days out of sync. From this screen, only the host can start the game again. So, let's start the game. 
From this point forward, anyone who is not the host will play the game just as they always have, and the experience on their end in terms of how to play the game will be exactly the same as in a single player game. There is one exception to that, which is the multiplayer chat function. This function obviously does not exist in a single player game, but is enabled for a multiplayer game. As the host, there is one additional function. In addition to hosting the game on your machine, you will also receive information about players trying to join or leave the game. For players joining the game, they join as we've seen previously. Once they have input the passwords, you actually have to accept them into the game. In the middle of the screen on the left hand side, you will see their name appear with two boxes, one green and one red. If you press the green one, that accepts them into the game. If you press the red one, that stops them from entering the game. Let's say you wanted to enter the game. So let's press the green square. That's it. Now they will sync and everything is finished. When ready, press start. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on joining and hosting multiplayer games. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. If you have questions about other aspects of Star Trek New Horizons, I highly recommend the playlist at the end of this video or linked in the description below. Please also subscribe to both my and Cornish Ratbeard's channels for more Star Trek New Horizons content and tutorials. The links to Cornish's channel is in the description below. We also have a Discord server you can join. We chat with the members about Star Trek New Horizons, Star Trek in general, video games, and just about anything you can think of. The invite is in the description below as well. Thank you in advance, and we look forward to seeing you next time.